you probably seen this commercial on television. This guy had nothing to do. Uh, he was bored, so he took up uh, parasailing or something like that. And he ended up knocking out the power grid. So that was kind of what I did yesterday. I had nothing to do. And uh, I ended up making a USB flashlight. Um, no, I, I didn't crash the power grid. So this is what I made. I always wanted to take apart this three triple A LED push on light. And the reason was when I bought this, this was about a buck and a half. Uh, the sales lady, uh, I bought in Hong Kong and she told me um, don't use alkaline batteries in these uh, they won't last and uh, use the cheaper carbon sink batteries and they threw in the batteries for, for free and I wasn't sure at that time why uh, they wanted to use carbon sink batteries then uh, recently one viewer commented on my video on my repairing my clock movement and I said the uh, expensive clock movement broke uh, even though it is so expensive and uh, he asked me uh, what batteries I use I said alkaline uh, he said uh, you should have used carbon sink um, reason being the voltage uh, is they get lower they're not as consistently high the current is not consistently high as um, alkaline batteries same thing I guess the reason to use carbon sink batteries in these and I always wanted to take one of these apart and and see what is inside and that's what I did and this is the reflectors and this is the inside. It's a triangular shape. It uh, has a small resistor. Um, I think it is 20 ohm resistor. By this button here, the hot side. When you press it, it goes on. And that's it. That's the circuit. So I wanted to repurpose this for use in my um, lithium ion battery pack. I want to make it USB so uh, the old one, the contacts actually got corroded so I didn't want to go through that again. So I made this USB. I soldered another resistor in here, uh, a 90 ohm resistor and I measure the voltage at the LED and they came out to about 3.1 something which is within the limit and is fine is is bright enough so that's what I did to this setup here I am probably not going to use a reflector because I would have to epoxy the center to, to the switch and I kinda like the exposed setup maybe Maybe I'm strange that way. I like actually to see the parts. So, and, um, so this is the way it looks like. And I don't want to make this a permanent attachment to the battery box. So I just use a rubber band to hold it. And to turn it on is uh, very easy. Um, this is a... Uh, the button for the battery box press it, it goes on so this is a sign the connection for the USB is I, I made it very simple, I just stripped the wire of the USB cable and just took the black and the red and used that as the positive and negative that's all and then uh, plug it into my USB power supply this 
USB battery box has two connections, two USB ports. So one is always left open and then the port is left open for charging. And an additional LED light which can be turned on with a switch here. You have to press two times to do that. So now you have two sets of LED lights. And I try to measure the draw, the current draw with this uh, charger doctor here and I couldn't get a reading maybe it is too too low maybe it's less than 20 milliamps I'm not sure but with this this uh, Go Zero LED light you can see it's drawing um, 200 milliamps which is about the whole light would, would draw one watt this is a fairly uh, fairly bright light. This is like one watt. Here it is. Press on, press off. 